today we will see the thyroid gland it has two capsule or it is covered by the two capsule one is the true capsule that is formed by the fibrous stroma of the gland other is the false capsule that is formed by the pretracheal layer of the cervical fascia and deep to the true capsule here we will find the venous plexus these are the venous plexus lies deep to the true capsule why this this is important because during the removal of the thyroid gland that is known as the thyroidectomy so gland is removed along with the true capsule to prevent the hemorrhage in case of prostate gland these venous plexus lies in between the true and false capsule so we can leave the true capsule in case of prostate gland so as you know thyroid gland is a butterfly shape gland it has right and left lobe the apex lies in the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage and base lies in front of the fifth or sixth tracheal ring this is in relation to the fifth and sixth tracheal ring the middle part is the isthmus lies in front of the second third or fourth tracheal ring see above projection from the isthmus is known as the pyramidal lobe now we will see the by the diagram thyroid gland has a apex and base see apex this is the base and this is the isthmus which will connect the right and left thyroid lobe and projection from the isthmus is known as the pyramidal lobe next thing we have the levator glandulae thyroidae this is the fibromuscular band extending from the tip of the pyramidal lobe to the hyoid bone and as you know thyroid gland lies opposite to the c5 c6 c7 and t1 vertebra